Calvin Dunning, very good on top. If anything, Blake Listello should get the award for the most improved fighter. He's won his last two fights. He's looked very good. He's looked very well improved. But his wrestling is what he needs. If there's one thing that's his kryptonite, it's definitely his wrestling for sure. If, and it's one thing that you really need against a guy, a guy like Dunning who is so good on top. He's so good at keeping his positioning. He's so good at pressure. He's so good at getting the fight where he wants it. Blake Listello right now can't spend too much time on his back like this. Well, He's, and the ref seems content to let him work. Well, because Calvin's being busy here. See, there's punches. The punches are going to keep the fight where he wants it. The, the referee's not going to stand this fight up from here. Calvin dragging the fight to his corner. Oh, Blake Listello. Oh, punch by Dunning, though. Blake Listello doing a good job trying to look for triangles, but he's got to get off his back. When you're on your back for more than a minute like this and you haven't subbed, you're losing the fight. No, Calvin Dunning. Oh, referee's going to stand the fight up. This is really important. Blake Listello needs to get busy here. And Calvin Dunning needs to get to the get takedown. Back, back to right to where he was. 10-second clacker. Good job, guard retention here by Blake Listello. But a hell of a game plan from Calvin Dunning. Doing what he needs to do against a taller guy. Get on the inside. Yes. Get the fight to the ground where he's comfortable. Calvin Dunning shows he's not going to really have a problem getting this fight where he wants it right now. Well, uh, not only does the, the height difference play a factor in the striking, but also when Calvin is going for takedowns, he's coming in pretty low. Well, like you said, we have a tall, lanky striker versus a short, stocky wrestler. It's not only a body type contrast, but also a very, very apparent style contrast. Both guys want to do completely different things. You know, and right, and right now, Calvin Dunning is doing what he wants. He's able to get the fight to the ground when he wants. And Blake Listello, although when, when he's on it, he just hasn't been able to stay on his feet. Very good round from Calvin Dunning. All he's got to do is rinse, wash, and repeat. Blake Listello with some work to do. No. Blake Listello needs to not be, because he needs to, he needs to, re oh! Huge left hand. See, this is where, Calvin this Dunning. is where Listello needs to get up. He needs to get up immediately. He needs to, oh, but Calvin Dunning immediately takes the back. Got one hook in. Calvin finding this position like magnets find each other. Now and he comes into mount here. And if this is very dangerous for Blake Listello, full mounted position here. He's doing a good job avoiding a lot of damage here. And no, Cal but this is a ground and pound position where the back is a submission position. Though punches Big by Calvin Dunning, Calvin Dunning. And Blake Listello gives up his back again has to give up his back. Otherwise, he's looking at a TKO finish here in the second round via Calvin Dunning's fists. Calvin Dunning with this back control here, and he's looking he's to lock in that deep, rear naked deep choke. He's got a deep rear naked choke here. I think he's got that hand in. Blake he's Lestello got that in hand a lot in. of trouble. Got... Oh, Blake Lestello fought that hand off pretty good. Good job lying on the leg, but Blake Listello, oh, but Calvin Dunning transitions and secures top position. Good guard retention there by Blake Listello, but he is, is, it's same old. He's got to get off his back. Well, and Calvin Dunning is doing a great job sticking to him like glue. Wherever he moves, Calvin follows. Into another semi-stalemate position here. Ref already giving him a warning to stay active here. John Long in the corner of Calvin Dunning telling him to work to pass. John Long giving very good advice to his fighter right now, telling him to stay busy, keep, this, keep his pressure, and just stay busy. 
Blake Lasello slapping the ears of Calvin Dunning. The driving pressure from Calvin is pretty incredible here. Calvin doing a better job of staying active in the second half of this second round. Blake should be using the wall here. He's been close to the cage. He needs to try to use this to stand up. Calvin Dunning is going to be very difficult to submit from this position. Ten I think Blake clocker. has really got to use the cage to scramble up right here. Again, like I said, all he's got to do is rinse, wash, and repeat. That's two rounds in the back for Calvin Dunning. It's all up to Blake Lestello to do something at this point. Being down two rounds, not a position I'd want to be in against a guy that has had proven success taking you down round after round. Well, if anything, the advice being given to, to Calvin Dunning is do that again. And the advice being given to Blake Lestello is we have to be using the cage to stand up. Even if we take a couple shots, we have to get our back to the wall and we have to be able to stand up. Calvin Dunning has shown that he's more than capable of maintaining these positions. And when he gets in a dominant position, he's always kept it. Whether it's mount or back, he's very good at these positions, maintaining his pressure. Blake Listello has got to be able to get up. Well, I'll tell you this right now. A lot of people might have said that uh, Calvin Dunning made a mistake going up a weight class, but he's proven everybody wrong right now. No, we want to give a thank you to our sponsor, Platinum Rollers, Tucson's number one choice for a high-end top-notch vehicle customization. Blake Listello and Calvin Dunning, round three. Again, going right under the strikes of Blake Listello. And that was just easy. That was an easy takedown. Blake Listello almost like fell into it. Very little, n not much resistance on that takedown. Well, it's the third round. I'm sure both guys are a little tired here. Well, what you don't want is you don't, I don't want Blake Listello to feel like he's just resigned now to this position. You know, like there, he's, he, he just retained his guard. He kind of gave up on scrambling. You know, I think Blake Listello has kind of like resigned himself to like, oh crap, I'm gonna get taken down. That's not where you want to be in this fight. See, look at, see Calvin Dunning doing good job maintaining this pressure and he's punching the whole time. He's scoring shots, he's maintaining top position. Again, Coach Long telling him to pass the open guard. Referee asking them to work. He doesn't see it, he wants him up. Blake costello has been given every chance in this fight. And again, again Calvin Dunning just down like a cheerleader on prom night. There's the Ed we know and love. Yeah, there it is. We've been waiting for you all night, buddy. It's there. Well, Calvin Dunning is doing exactly what I'm sure his team planned to do this entire time, which was to get the long, lanky striker on his butt. And this is a much needed performance from Calvin Dunning coming into this cage twice and both times leaving without a W. This is the type well, of performance all, that he needs. All Calvin Dunning has got to do is not make a mistake right now and he's going home with this W. Calvin and, Dunning with this pressure. He's just been on him like a condom this entire fight. It's like, like look at this, and look at that. He just sticks to him the entire time. Right in the mount. Right Corner in the mount. asking for damage. And his coaches are telling him exactly what to do. His coaches are telling him to do what I would do in that situation. Full mount by Calvin Dunning. He's got to do something with it here, though. Good punch by Calvin Dunning. Blake Listello has got to make something happen. He's down two rounds. He's got to make something happen. 10-second clacker. Calvin Dunning trying to...
put Blake Listello away. He doesn't get the finish, but he likely walks away with the unanimous decision. Well, I got three, I got three rounds in the books easy right there for Calvin Dunning. Did everything he wanted. And like, just no resistance on the takedown. You know, I, I know Blake Listello has been much improved, so improved, you know, but just could not stop the pressure and the wrestling from Calvin Dunning. Well, I tell you what, the win could not have come at a better time and up a weight class, so he got to eat, uh, eat some Halloween candy, I'm sure, during this camp. Calvin Dunning, not just wrestling, but overall, great grappling. Overall, fantastic grappling. Not only was he able to get the takedown whenever he wanted, but his ability to move from position to position, take the back, the mount, retake, and, and, and go, going for submission attempts, ground and pound, just fantastic overall grappling from Calvin Dunning. Oh, he was floating. He did what he needed to do to secure the W. It shows that he's a force in the wrestling department for sure. All right, Fosto well, was about to enter the cage. Oh, I guess you can't do it without a microphone. All right, Fosto has your official decision. Calvin Dunning by unanimous decision. And rightly so.